I am so tired. I am so freaking tired. No need to tell that to Hora. You look like a corpse anyway. I did not want to do this. And if you're watching this and be like, wait, something's different about the Hura, well, that's that because I haven't put makeup and if you're wondering what's wrong, it's it's my face. So I had originally decided to binge read, not exactly binge read, but like read and binge review the whole A Court of Thorn and Roses series by Sarah J Maas together. In one video I thought it would be so awesome and because this series is so loved in the bookstagram community I thought you know what, let's give it a chance and I did. Here are some snippets of my review on Akatar that the world will never see. Fall for the guy who kidnapped you because of course that's how we do it. Oh look, I look pretty here. This is another friend of your lover. He might be the villain and a bad boy but he has a good heart and then you are kind of falling for him as well. But of course your kidnapper is your main priority, the love of your life. Was this a kidnap by One Direction, what part fan fiction or the Court of Thorn and series? The world will never know. IDK why I keep on saying a Court of Thorn and series instead of a Court of Thorns and Roses series. I think the world will never know that to sigh. Now I did find the main lead Farah a bit annoying you know what's even more annoying it's my face sweat sigh we ain't gonna talk about that there was this one big turn off for me personally you know that whole illuminati shit but we're not gonna talk about that either it was kind of a good experience i won't say it was something that i regret reading one second to horror let me put your clown mask on oh wait you look ridiculous with that face sweat anyway let's go back to the video it was supposed to be a review but uh, <sighs> Some things came to my notice and I could not ignore it. It, it just cannot be ignored. It's not even about me. It, ju it just shouldn't be ignored. Unless you're silent. This video was originally going to be about uh, how I like the found family trope and all that in the second part of A Court of Thorn and series which is A Court of Mist and Fury. And I cannot believe I wasted my time reading that like 500 or something pages. And it was actually 1149 pages. You can see I failed math in high school. And for what? For what? To realize that apparently the beloved author of Bookstagram is... I don't know if I should call her a Zionist at this point, but I don't know what else to call her. I found out on Bookstagram about this one statement Sarah J Maas had made about her mother going and like volunteering for the Israeli army and how much she likes that and how she felt so connected to Israel and she loved Israel when she visited because it was her, you know, the birthright trip. If you if you don't know about the birthright trip, please, please try to Google it. In layman words, it's basically a trip to a place that you've never been to, but, uh, or were never born in or know where your parents, but you can because you have the privilege. While you ethnic cleanse the rest of the population that live over there. So yeah. And of course, with that, I guess we finished binge reading the whole series because I'm not gonna continue at all. I mean, it's not a question to like whether I should or should not. I'm not in a dilemma here because the people are dying. And if they're not being bombed, then they are being oppressed, they are being beaten, they are being taken to jail. Their water supply have been cut out um, and so on and on. And you cannot simply say that, oh my God, you know, sh she haven't said anything on the current topic yet. And that was like from 2000, whatever, whatever. So, you know, you cannot just pinpoint at her. Darling, what's happening in Palestine is happening since like last 70 years. There's absolutely no excuse here. That's one more thing that's happening. When people are speaking up against it, they're getting a lot of backlash because they are the book books to grammar. So you should stop canceling others or there'll be nothing left to read. Are you serious? Nothing? Nothing? I mean, I mean, I mean, um, God damn it, I mean. OMG, look, it's a white unproblematic author. Nothing? Absolutely. Nothing? Really? 100% sure and honestly I don't want to talk about it much more but if you want to know about it you can go to the YouTube channel of Book Are My Soul I will um, put it in the description down below I guess brother have <laughs> done a fantabulous job at describing the situation on how these people feel so offended by the fact that some people are speaking up for human rights I guess that's it that was my journey with Farah and I already forgot his name. Well, anyway, let's go and read better books, shall we? Bye!